hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so in this particular video we are going to solve all the msqs and mcqs which were asked from physical chemistry in your gate 2021 exam now the response sheet is already available on the website if you are not aware about that do check it out uh, download your response sheet and check out your answers and you can match them with me all right so what i'm going to do is i am only going to solve msqs and mcqs in this video in the upcoming videos i'll also do the nats all right so let's start with it so if you go with this and uh, the first msq which was there was in your question number eight this was from your physical chemistry the question says that the normal mode of vibration of water is okay so h2 it was asked so the first mode or the first vibration which is shown over here this is basically your symmetric stretching okay so this is symmetrical stretching mode so yes this is one of the mode or one of the vibrational mode of your water the other mode if the, you see this one this was asymmetric stretch okay this was asymmetrical stretching so yeah this is also a normal mode of vibration the option three was your uh, bending mode okay this was a bending mode of water and also this will also be one of the mode of vibration so these three were, were the correct option this is none of the vibrational mode this is not any type of vibration for the water molecule so this is not the option the correct answer for this is one two and three all right let's go for the next one the question was from phase diagram this was again a msq question now one more thing i want to tell that how many marks for how many marks this question was uh, that i think is mentioned over there in the corner uh, but yeah you can check that out okay so the question over here says that the phase diagram of co2 is shown below so this is the phase diagram of carbon dioxide the correct statement about co2 is so let's look upon the statement statement a says that above tc this is tc so above this tc uh, it does not exist in liquid state so when you they are talking about tc they are basically talking about temperature okay you just have to look upon temperature so above tc means you don't have to go above this okay that means you have to go in the temperature above that okay so it says that it does not exist in liquid state is it correct or not so see above this means tc you can just make the point here so this is the temperature where it will be your crit, uh, like the, the the tc value is this so if you go above that that is somewhere over here you can see that it exists in liquid state over here right so this statement is not correct all right so that means above tc it can exist in liquid state so first statement is wrong other says that at, at tc it can exist in all three phases yes it is true because it's a triple point here it is going to exist in all the three phases so yes this is true solid liquid and gas all the three phases will be there the third statement says that below tc does not exist in liquid state so this is tc below means you have to go in this direction okay you have to go in this direction for below that so below tc just check out is it existing in liquid anywhere you can take any lower value than tc and you will not find it in the liquid state so this is uh, uh, this is a correct statement so below tc it does not exist in liquid state that's correct so below tc it is not existing in the liquid state the fourth statement says that above t1 it does not exist in solid state is it correct so this is your t1 above t1 means you can take any temperature more than that so more than that is this let's say so is it existing in solid state yes it is existing so at above temperature and at certain value of pressure you are going to get it in the solid state so this is again wrong the correct statement for this is statement number two and three now depending upon your question paper the statements might vary means the numbering of a statement might vary but the but what you have to look upon is a statement like uh, you have to read the statement and then match it because your options are also random in the exam okay so just make sure that you are matching out uh, the options as such okay so fine the next question is your question number 15 fine this is the question it says that the the equilibrium constant for the reaction the reaction is given to you at 25 degrees celsius is closest to it's a pretty simple question you just have to apply delta g naught is equals to minus rt ln k and with that you will be able to do so delta g naught was given to you as minus 104.18 kilojoules so let's convert it into joules and minus r is given to you as 8.314 temperature you have to take 25 degree celsius means 298 kelvin convert that into kelvin and then you have ln k 
तो लॉन के वैल्यू यू विल बी गेटिंग टेक इट टू द अदर साइड डिवाइड एंड सॉल्व तो लॉन के बेसिकली यू विल गेट फोर्टी टू आई हैव ऑलरेडी सॉल्व इट सो आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग फ्रॉम हेयर सो फोर्टी टू पॉइंट जीरो फोर नाइन एंड के विल बी योर ई टू द पावर फोर्टी टू पॉइंट जीरो फोर नाइन एंड ऑन यूजिंग योर कैलकुलेटर टू डू दैट यू विल गेट इट एज वन पॉइंट एट इन टू टेन टू द पावर एटीन दैट इज गोइंग टू बी द फाइनल आंसर फॉर दिस राइट now many people did mistake in this they did the formula delta g not is equals to minus delta n rt ln k that is not correct uh, you don't have to put delta n over there because your uh, equilibrium constant is itself taking care of the number of moles so you don't have to put that okay that's what i think it should be the correct one okay the next uh, the next question which is there so now we don't have mcqs from physical chemistry as such we have to go little longer we have to scroll down and here is the next question from your mcq of your uh, physical chemistry okay so this was mcq question it says sorry it was a msq question okay? this was a msq question it says that the characters of e c2 sigma v and sigma v dash symmetry operations in this order are given to you the valid irreducible representations of the c2 v point group is so which are going to be the valid irreducible representations so this is valid and this is valid if you see the irreducible representation of c2v point group the character table goes like 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 then 1 1 1 1 1 and 1 1 1 1 one, something like that like these are the four characters which we have basically so if you match with them you are going to get option 2 and option 3 you are not going to get option 4 anywhere and neither option 1 will be there okay so this is going to be the correct answer so 2 and 3 are the correct answer again i am telling match the options like match, match the answers not the option number okay the next question is directly again from your quantum mechanics it says acceptable wave function for quantum mechanical particle must be this is again a msq type question and for this question the answer would be like a wave function in quantum mechanics is acceptable if it is single valued if it is continuous and if it is odd or even all of them are correct okay so all the options are correct for this particular question it doesn't matter if you have like if you have done or if you have left any of the option you will not get any marks so you should have done all the four options then only you will be getting marks i will explain you even an odd function but i think that is not required so even an odd function i'll just give you the definition so if f of f of x is equals to f of minus x then it is called as even function means if you change it with this so like if you ch in the place of x if you put minus x then also the function does not changes that is called as a even function example of that are like cos x or x square all these are your functions which are even function odd functions are like when you when you do f of x this is equals to minus of f of minus x that means when you put minus x in place of x you get negative of that function that is called as a odd function an example of odd function are sin x then you have tan x or x just x also or x to the power any odd number will also work so these are all acceptable in quantum mechanics so the answer will be all of them okay fine let's go to the next question the next question is this question number 39 it says hexane and heptane are completely miscible at 25 degree celsius the vapor pressure of hexane and heptane are this and this respectively the mole fraction of hexane and heptane in the vapor pressure of the solution containing 4 moles 4 molar hexane and 6 molar heptane respectively is so let me tell you let me just give some uh, like i'll just denote it with it so i'll denote hexane with a and i'm going to heptane i'm denote going to denote heptane with b so uh, p not a that means partial pressure of hexane is 0.198 atm and p not b that is your partial pressure of heptane is uh, going to be 0.06 atm all right now uh, i have to find out okay so i have to find out the mole fraction so let let okay, i'm just writing here let mole fraction of hexane is denoted by ya okay let's denoted by ya so the formula is that ya is equals to p not a into x a divided by p now what are these over here see p not a is basically 
uh, your partial pressure x a is the number of moles in the solution so this question is from your henry's law and the application of that when the solution is made so x a is the number of moles in the solution which is made okay p not is partial pressure p is the total pressure in the same way your y b that means number mole fraction of heptane is going to be p not b multiplied by x b x b is going to be x b is going to denote the moles of uh, like heptane in the solution and divided by p now divide both of them you will get y a upon y b and this is going to be equal to p not a x a divided by p not b x b okay you can put the values so you know the value of p not a that is 0 0.198 x a is the number of moles in the solution so let it be 4 that is given to us and divided by 4 molar means 4 moles in a liter so let's assume that the solution is of 1 liter fine p naught b is going to be um, 0 0.06 multiplied by 6 okay on solving this whole thing you will get 2.2 so you got y a upon y b this is equals to 2.2 now one more relation which we already know is y a plus y b is equals to 1 because overall the sum of both the mole fraction is going to be 1 you can substitute the value of y a so y a will become 2.2 y b and plus y b is going to be equal to 1 solve this and you are going to get 3.2 y b is equals to 1 or you can say y b is equals to 1 upon 3.2 and this is going to give you uh, 0 0.312 so y b is going to be equal to 0 0.312 so mole fraction of b you have got mole fraction of a will be 1 minus this that will come out of this so option number fourth for me is correct you can check out which option it is in your uh, question booklet and that is going to be the correct okay let's go for the next question which is asked from your uh, from the um, physical chemistry the question was from your electrochemistry it says that in an electrochemical cell, uh, silver ions in AgNO3 are reduced to silver metal. At the electrode and copper is oxidized to copper plus 2 at the anode. A current of 0 0.7 ampere is passed through the cell for 10 minutes. The mass in gram of silver deposited and copper dissolved respectively are. So to do this for uh, to do this particular question, we are going to use this formula that weight of something deposited or dissolved is going to be equal to E I T divided by 96500 now what is e e is equivalent weight i is the amount of current which is passed t e is the time in second which you are which you are passing the current for so let's do it for silver so for silver plus since for silver plus the number of ion is 1 so equivalent mass is going to be equal to the molecular mass so the weight which is given to you that will be same so we can put 107.9 in the place of e for that okay so w will be equal to 107.9 in the place of e uh, current is 0 0.7 ampere time is 10 minutes convert this into seconds so 10 into 60 and divided by 96500 and on solving this whole thing you are going to get a 0 0.469 okay this is what you are going to get check it out do the calculation of your own okay check out whether you are getting the same or not now when you are doing for copper your copper 2 plus in that case your value of e is going to be the atomic weight is given 63.55 right you have to divide that by 2 in order to get the gram equivalent weight or the equivalent weight so this is what you will get as e now the weight is going to be equal to 63.55 multiplied by 0 0.7 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 60 that will remain as it is and this 2 is going to be like here okay so 63.55 divided by 2 and 96500 will remain as it is on solving this whole thing you will get 0 0.138 as the correct answer for this so the answer for this for me is option number four you can check out which option you are getting in your um, like in your answer key or in your response sheet okay so i think these were the questions uh, these were all of the questions which were from the msqs and mcq part in your gate 2021 i hope whatever calculation we have done is much clear to you and ats are being solved and they will be uploaded very soon so stay tuned for the channel like stay tuned for those videos and uh, do subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it yet 
the solution of inorganic chemistry is also going to come very soon so do subscribe the channel to get all the solutions and all on the time all right so that's it from my side guys thank you so much for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye